All the space. And this nice white background, which still needs a bit of color. But anyway, what I'm trying to say is, I could get used to this. This feels like luxury. Hello guys, how are you? David Franke here, davidfranke.com, with my second unboxing in my brand new studio. Still a long way to go, but the audio actually should sound a little better now than it did last week. Now, I don't know how much you can hear in video, but speaking from my point of view, it sounds better because I hung up a bunch of acoustic foam, which I'll show in the next weekend vlog. All right, you guys saw it already, but I'm gonna show you again because I'm obsessed with making this studio the way I want it to be. I want it to be professional, but fun and casual at the same time because I'm not a fan of being scripted or too professional. I just wanna be myself. I mean, I wanna appear professional, but I wanna have fun at the same time. Anyway, today's video is all about the HP iPod. Did you know HP partnered with Apple years ago? What kind of sorcery is this? Seriously, like nowadays, Apple would probably never partner with a company like HP. Now, I don't hate HP. I don't exactly love HP. I mean, I don't, I don't know if anyone's really passionate about the brand of HP. I mean, uh, unless you work for HP, or I don't know, maybe you have family in HP, but HP, it's just not the kind of product, or a brand rather, that we get obsessive over. Okay, so brands like Apple, sure, why not? Samsung, of course. Microsoft, lately, yes. Because, well, in my opinion, they've been doing some very good things with the Xbox One S, the Microsoft Studio, and now the Surface Book 2, which looks pretty nice. Although that middle hinge still irks me. All right, anyway, today's video, let's get to the point of today's video. That is all about the HP iPod. Now, I just wanna give a special shout out to Mr. Mike over at MrMikesVideos.com. He emailed me about a week or two ago. About a week, no, 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 kill that already, David, kill it. Anyway, he basically said, David, I want you to have this. Did you know HP made an iPod? Yes, I did know. However, did I ever think I would have one in my possession? No, especially considering how good this one looks. Now, let's go around the box, here we go. HP iPod. Branding on the front, carry thousands of songs in your pockets. Easily connect to your Windows PC. I don't believe there is a single mention of the Macintosh on this platform, platform, on this packaging, which is very interesting. All right, so it's important to keep in mind, when this was released, I believe the iPod already supported Windows because let's face it, without Windows support, the iPod probably wouldn't be nearly as successful as it was. But still, hey, it's interesting regardless. Okay, but opening this iPod, I wanna give you guys a few facts to keep in mind because I think they're very interesting. Straight from Wikipedia, the Apple iPod plus HP is an Apple iPod fourth generation, otherwise known as, I think, the iPod photo, with an HP logo on the back distributed through HP. On January 8th, 2004, Carly Fiorina, I don't know, announced the Apple iPod plus HP deal at the Consumer Electronics Show, in other words, CES. The Apple iPod plus HP was originally to have come in HP blue. Initially, HP only offered the 20 and 40 gigabyte fourth generation iPods. HP later added the iPod mini, the iPod photo, and the iPod shuffle to the lineup. Now, before I said technically this was the iPod photo because the iPod photo, I think, yeah, it came before the iPod fifth generation. Hold on, I don't wanna get this wrong and I really, really hate being wrong. iPod photo. Although Apple considers this model to be a member of the iPod fourth gen series and it shares a click wheel for navigation, it offers many improvements, perhaps most notably color. And that's why I referred to it as the iPod photo. Anyway, Mike, thank you so much for this. So you guys will be amazed at how good this iPod, HP, HP iPod, whatever, looks. So first of all, you get the traditional packaging, which unfolds from the middle iPod and iTunes quick start guide. Excellent 
condition. Still extremely white. Software license agreement. Another software license agreement. Oh, look at this. And I didn't even, even notice this the other day when I opened up the box. You get Apple stickers. Very cool. Just the fact that everything looks this good, it blows my mind. And guys, believe me, you have not seen anything yet. Remote, which is brand new in the packaging. Brand new, and it's gonna stay that way. 30 pin connector, I don't miss those days. Brand new earbuds. I can't call them ear pods, because they're not technically ear pods. These are just iPod earbuds. There wasn't any kind of particular branding, I don't think so anyway. All right, so getting to the star of the show, the power adapter. All right, here we go. Prepare to be amazed. The iPod HP. Now, the front has minor scratches and scuffs, but most interesting of all, flip it around. Look at that. Is that not beautiful? Is that not one of the best kept iPods you've ever seen in your life? Considering this thing came out in 2004, this thing is in pristine condition, at least from the rear. Just looks downright beautiful. 20 gigabyte hard drive, and of course, it does work. So, there you go. There's the iPod HP. There is currently no music on here, perhaps I'll load it up, but just the fact that it's in such good condition, that is why I made a video about this. And plus, Mike sent it to me. So Mike, thank you so much. Check out Mike's links or videos on his link right below. I greatly appreciate this. This will be going onto the eye shrine. So guys, thank you so much for watching. Your support means a lot. And I'll see you next time. My dad's FaceTiming me. Hola. Hola.